everybody, thanks for watching. I'm katiethomas.com and I'm sitting here with the lovely Miss Lorraine Dell, who was a former Miss Universe representing New Zealand, which is a pretty big honour. There hasn't been anyone since, has there? No, there hasn't. Um, it was 1983. In those days, when you were crowned Miss Universe, what was your skincare regime like? What, did, what, what was your daily very, habit? Very basic. Yeah? yeah very, very <laughs> basic. How <laughs> basic? Um, well, obviously I was wearing makeup at that stage, so I was using a cleanser mm -hmm. and a moisturiser. Um, I was using sunblock. I was mm -hmm. definitely, I'd come into that, I'd had, you know, spent years as a child um, at the beach, Mount Monganui, and I know that I'd probably had done a lot of damage to my skin, but I can remember as soon as I started modelling, I became aware of the importance of looking after so skin. skin agents, and we start to line, you want to soften your so I have a few more products <laughs> that I use now. Yeah. So speaking about lines and wrinkles, what are your thoughts on plastic surgery? I just sort of feel that um, there's nothing wrong with aging. You know, it's it's a part of life. And I, you know, I'm a mother and I have a teenage daughter. And I look at her and she's just coming into youth. She's 14. And, and I just sort of think that you know that's part of our our cycle of life. I want to look like her mother and, and then you know one day I'll be a grandmother and I and I and I'm quite happy to look like a grandmother. I never want to look older than what I am. You know? <laughs> I don't think anybody it, does. No. <laughs> but and you know, I will you know, I will always care about the way I look. But as far as doing drastic things to, to have to stop the aging process, it's something that um, I just feel I don't need to do. Sort of thing, you know, when would it stop if you started playing around with and your appearance to that extent, where, where, where do you draw the line? At, at what point would you be satisfied? You know, if, if you were... I think, it, I think once you start down that path, there is no going back and you have to be tied to that. And, and that's the, where I got to. I just thought, I don't want to be... I don't want to... The, the big thing is I didn't want to be fearful about getting older. And then, you know, I have some... I've met some amazing women through my travels and experiences and you know some of the most captivating women are women that are in their 70s and 80s and you know again it goes back to what you think beauty is about and I don't think beauty necessarily is about having a face with no wrinkles on it. I think that's great, I think that's perfect. Awesome. Well thank you so much for having a talk to us today Lorraine and thank you guys for tuning in.